So, we have done diff, uh, equations of motion. Now, we have to do displacement in the nth second. So, displacement in nth second for uniform acceleration. Now, see here if you want to calculate displacement in nth second, we have to use displacement time relation. Suppose in n time or in n second, displacement is S n is equal to u n plus half a n square. I have used displacement time relation in place of time I have put n. Now, we can also write displacement in n minus 1 second it is here S n minus 1 is equal to U n minus 1 plus half A n minus 1 whole square. So, here again we have used the displacement time relation in place of time we have taken here n minus 1, n minus 1, n minus 1. Now, if you want to write displacement in nth second, you can write S n minus S n minus 1 put these two values from here and you will be getting S n th is equal to u plus a by 2 into 2 n minus 1 on solving. So, you have to solve by putting these two values over here and then you will get this relation. So, this relation is for displacement in nth second. Here a is uniform acceleration, n is time here, u is initial velocity, S n th is displacement in nth second. Now, see here where we can apply this formula and where we cannot apply this formula. If velocity and acceleration both are in the same direction, then you can use directly this formula no problem. Otherwise, this formula is not applicable. If velocity and acceleration are in the up uh, in the not having the same direction. So, it means if velocity and acceleration are not in the same direction, then we cannot apply this formula. 